Jacob, tell us, talk to us about like uh, the One Piece game and like, like you're you're super into these card games and uh, obviously all your like uh, your Twitch, your YouTube is going to be linked in the description below. Uh, Discord you, server too. Discord oh, yeah. server, yeah. The the <clears throat> ow fuck, I just stubbed my t- finger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like fucking flailing my hand and then it hit the desk. But I I know you were super big into MetaZoo. I wish Gannon was here cuz he's been getting big into MetaZoo. Uh but you've you've gone on to all these other card games and you talked about Yu-Gi-Oh and all that uh yeah, on man. the previous episodes. <laughs> What's different about the One Piece card game and why are you so invested in that? Uh, so I think I should start with, like, talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! again. Yeah. I slowly started to lose interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! just because of how... First off, they release product and new cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! so often that it's yeah. so hard to keep up without spending a fortune. Yeah. And uh, also just doing hella research all the time, watching videos and stuff all the time. And um, the scene around here was super competitive. Like... A lot of the times in card games, going to your your local game store and playing a tournament, it's called going to locals. Um, a lot of times they're they're really casual most of the time because yeah. there will be your veteran players and there will be your noobs and there will be the people right in the middle and um, people will be playing all sorts of stuff. They'll be playing either their favorite deck or you got the, the tryhards playing like the best deck in the room. and. Yeah. Around Lexington, everybody seems to be a tryhard and playing, like, the best decks all, at all times, you know. And that's good if you're trying to be competitive, you know. It's great practice. You can go to these yeah. bigger tournaments with a lot of practice under your belt and do well. But uh, it just felt like a lot, you know. I'd want to take, like, a goofy deck sometimes that I know isn't great and have a good time. And I can't because you just get you get waxed yeah. in, like, a turn uh-huh. or two. Uh, so... I just started slowly pulling away from it, and I had heard about MetaZoo, so I decided to get into that. You know, we went to this uh, convention up in Louisville, and there's a few retailers selling some product. I picked up uh, some boxes and some decks, and me and my brothers played a couple games. However, nowhere around here sells MetaZoo. The only place I've been able to find it at is Walmart, and it's just like these little nice. three-pack things, and yeah. it's just not worth the the money or trying to play i can't go play with anybody i didn't know anybody around here that did play um so i kind of stopped with that too after investing a little bit of money into that and yeah um, wasn't there like a scandal too with metazoo a little bit yeah after i heard about a lot of scandals with metazoo and their um just how they run things like steve aoki's like basically like 50 percent partner ownership of the company now so he oh, can really? make like crazy executive decisions and has dumped a lot of their time and effort into this NFT bullshit that nowadays uh, NFTs have fell the fuck off, man. Like there's no, no point to mm-hmm. keep making the shit and they're still pumping stuff out for it. And it just yeah. doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, Damn. A lot of things, in my opinion, too, were going right, but then they started to go wrong with it. You know, like serialized cards. Uh, I don't know if y'all have heard about the Magic the Gathering Lord of the Ring one of one card. Hmm. So they just released a set in Magic that was based off of Lord of the Rings. And Uh there was one single copy of one card out there called the One Ring. And it's based off like the One Ring in uh, in Lord of the Rings. There's one of them in the entire world. And it has it gold stamped on it. It says one out of one. And, uh, Post Malone actually just bought it. Some dude pulled it, graded it, and sold it to Post Malone. Because Post Malone loved the shit. He paid like $3 million for the card. I think I saw that, yeah. That stuff's super cool. Like, it becomes super collectible and exclusive at that point when you get a card that's like, okay, there's 10 of these in the fucking world, and I have one of them. That's that's fucking dope, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. MetaZoo had a lot of that. Too much of that. Like, it started off cool with these uh, sample cards that don't look like the others. They have a black border. They were, like, their original print run that they got just for the warehouse and stuff to look and check it out and things like that. And um, 
eventually those made it to the secondary market and people wanted absurd amount of monies for it and um there's supposed to be only like uh 10 i think of each sample card in existence and there are way more than that floating around and that's because someone found the distributor that they used to print the cards in china and they found a shop right down the street from them contacted them and ordered their own versions of MetaZoo's cards. Uh, and they yeah. are that's identical. Some bri- that's some big brain moves, that's honestly. crazy. Yeah, and they are, like, almost indistinguishable, man. Like, it's kind of crazy. And, like, the first edition cards go for a lot of money. And they got a shit ton of those, too. They have a ton of the sample cards, a ton of these exclusive cards that are supposed to be one of ones and shit like that that you can't that aren't supposed to have more than a certain amount in the world, there are more than that. So now, if you're a super big collector and you want to get, like, the highest tier item in the game, you want the sample Mothman, you don't know if the one that you just paid ten grand for is real or not. Doesn't Ganon have Mothman? I think he said he wanted... Oh, I thought he, like, pulled one. I have a Mothman. uh, I can sell him. I sell him a Mothman for ten grand. No, I will sell him. I, I'll cut him a good deal on it too. It's graded. It's like a nine. It's first edition. Nine, it's pretty cool. five nine grand. grand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nine. anyway, they started doing that shit, and they also have like in their box like, their third set ever called Wilderness. They did this thing where they printed these tickets. There's three of them. Uh, that's it. There's three of them, and a guy pulled one. It's called the Golden Ticket. And you're supposed to be able to turn it into MetaZoo, and they give you, like, a percentage in the company, mm. and you just make money from the company now after pulling that card. Yeah. Then there's a silver ticket, and it apparently gets you, like, something super exclusive that no one else will have. And then there's a bronze ticket, and the silver and bronze ones I don't think have been pulled yet. Like, they're still out there in someone's house in their booster box. And... um it gives you, like, a free case or something of cards. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. But they also started doing um, more serialized cards and more super hard-to-pull cards. Like, um, they did these 1 of 10 cards. And then for their next set, they did 1 of 10 cards. But they did, like, 8 1 of 10 cards. So instead of just being, like, one card that you kind of really have to go after and spend a couple grand on that if you want to complete the set, you have yeah. to do it eight times and spend a lot of money. Damn. And Some pay the win shit. Dude, I think that they're just going over the top with how many yeah. versions of cards and things there are. Like, uh, do you know Tops, Like, the, the baseball yeah. card company? Um, <laughs> they did a collaboration with Pokemon back in the day called Tops Chrome. Super sick. Like, yeah. uh, they're not super expensive either. You can pick them up for pretty cheap, and they look amazing. A lot of people like I, to collect them. I have them. some, actually. Yeah, they're dope, dude. MetaZoo did a collaboration with Topps Chrome, and everybody was super hyped for it. And I'm telling you, man, there is so many versions of one card, one type of card in there. Like, you could have a Mothman in like seven or eight different rarities and there's like 150 different cards in the set and they all have that kind of shit like how are you supposed to collect all of that you're not going to it's not possible and they're pumping out all these products and all these collaborations it just it feels like they're doing too much without a big enough player base and that's where they're wrong in my opinion i think they should have gone a lot slower and built their fan base up a lot faster that way than pumping out more product than people can handle. Yeah, for so, sure. Sounds like a cash grab. I like the play style of that. You know, it kind of has some elements of Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon all built into it. And uh, it revolves around a like a resource system. And that's what One Piece does. But mm-hmm. in most other resource-based games, you have to find them like by drawing cards. In One Piece, they're always given to you. So you're not going to get fucked by, like, drawing bad cards, you know? Okay. Like, 
you can get fucked by drawing bad cards, but you'll still be able to do something and play something. Like, you could play a game of Magic and draw all monsters, no mana, and you can't play. You literally cannot play. You will lose. And uh, yeah. that'll happen to MetaZoo, too. That happens in all these resource-based games. One Piece isn't like that. That's one reason I really like it. And I'd say the other big reason I like it, I guess two reasons, is because I like One Piece. And... Yeah. Mm -hmm. the characters and cards work in ways that like the character in the shows and animes like abilities work Mm -hmm. um it's really cool like uh i i really don't know how else to explain it other than that there's a few different things like i don't know i I can't really explain stuff without giving spoilers (laughs) um like for the card game or uh yeah like for how some of these cards work like it would Uh, the way i have to explain it spoils stuff about like this show and characters Oh, okay gotcha yeah Um, don't spoil it i've only read or watched up to skypea okay i gotcha i'm all caught up (laughs) okay well so you're in skypea right yeah do you know anel the light lightning guy slim shady and a he's god no i don't think i've met him yet oh Oh. okay well then i can't really say anything about that um sorry (laughs) slim shady yeah yeah i don't know i'm trying to think of something else i could tell you um i don't know (laughs) catch up chase (laughs) 